Have you ever had a bird on your shoulder? I have not! Oh. Daisy oh, betrayed me. Let's play another game. We need a bed. Look how evil she is. Who won? Look at her. Nacho, you cheated. Good morning. It is Operation Get the House Ready for Sunday and I'm going to try to put away the Halloween decorations. If that gets done fast enough, then maybe even pull out the Christmas stuff. Without a doubt though, we are going to pull out one thing Christmas related because I got a box from KiwiCo and it's real good. <laughs> so we're gonna be showing you guys that today and they heard me. It's so, I'm so excited about this, you guys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you once you get your zones done. Everyone do your zones so we can play. I am showing the kids our family photos that we just got back. And Frankie looked at this one and he went, Aww. Aww. <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> okay, that's it. Mama. Oh, you like that one, Nino? Oh, look at how cute. Isn't that cute? Uh-huh. Today I'm so excited. We are sending up our Christmas decorations. Maybe I can show you how spooky it is outside. Remember to change it to beautiful Christmas decorations. So this is how spooky it is outside. Everything chopped, ready to go in. Okay, how's it coming in here? It's smelling it's very good. Listen, yummy. anything that involves cooking the bacon until the bacon grease releases, then then browning the pork, <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's all good. It's browning all the pork and the bacon dripping. So the best good. Part is all the cardamom. Guys, I need to. Getting some work done, but I need to get down these Halloween decorations because yes, you do. April wants to put up Christmas decorations. Yeah. <laughs> so, one more happy, one more happy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Happy. Yeah. So that's the goal. We have some cousins over right now and some neighbor kids, and we're just taking care of things. It's a nice, fun Saturday. Took the dogs for a run this morning. A cookie. A cookie puppy. Yes. Do you want to say goodbye to Billy Bob the ghoul? He's going away forever. Forever. Found some strawberries? Wow, I didn't know all those were out there. Good job. Who does it mean? Okay, Embry. Kaylee, catch them here. Okay, April, say goodbye. Daddy, it's not the Christmas like more. Yes. Yeah. What? It just says it goes up and down. Okay, well, he, yeah, he didn't work out. I'm glad he doesn't talk. He's creepy. I'd rather, I'd rather him not talk. I feel like that grave She's kissing right there, his arm. Dad, I feel like that grave right there stole his voice. Yeah. Like, it says exactly what he said. You I want your bottle? soul. Take it apart, piece by piece. No, no, it says, um, don't Gotta just take them all down. Hi, take, hey, Cooper, how's it going? You wanna say hi to the vlog? Hey. Hey, guys, voice. what's up? Okay, goodbye to Fortune well, Teller, goodbye to the werewolf, goodbye to everything. I feel like it's been forever since I've made my cucumber salsa, so I'm making up some cucumber salsa. And um, so we're gonna have pozole, and then I'm gonna make some quesadillas for the kids because we have some guests coming over. Our friends, the Diedrichsons, are coming over. Um, and they have kids. I'm not sure they're gonna love pozole, so I'm gonna make some quesadillas too. I love this contraption. I got it off of Amazon, and you just stick the vegetables in there, and it um, cubes them really small. So, I'll show you how I do it. First, I just slice the vegetables, and then when I stick them here. Just squishes them right through. And then you have these fine little cubes. Look how perfect they are. It's so much faster than hand chopping everything. So I love making cucumber, cucumber with this thing. 
course, when we make it when we're other places, I just chop it all. It takes a little bit longer, but this thing's fun. Oh, that's good. Hey, our friends are here, and there's a bird pooping on our guests. So, good job, baby. Have you ever had a bird on your shoulder? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I am like scared of birds. This, yeah, you, you should be. They have no. large talons. It was on my hand right here. It was? What? You want to hold it? I want it up. Houston, How was that, huh? Okay. So here they are. Great. Now they're going to come home and be like, Mom, I want a bird. You should. They're a good pet. They're a good pet. I failed at the vlog today. We had fun friends over here and we, we taught them a lift, like a dance move that was kind of difficult. <laughs> but they nailed it. I'm gonna show you the footage. I'm sorry it's filmed up and down. So funny. Okay, We love Fatima and her husband, Ben. They're just the greatest. Um, their kids are so well behaved and they play so good with ours and we just love them. So it was a treat having them over. Um, now, we're gonna play some board games as a family because it's Saturday night and we just feel like partying. <laughs> Evie had to run over to the Instacare and take a COVID test because she's getting her procedure on Tuesday. So this is three days before her test and I am so glad that Fatima asked me about it because I'd completely forgotten today and I think he made it over there just in time before they closed. We would have not been able to get her procedure. I'm like dying because they only do that procedure on Tuesdays. So she would have had to wait another whole week to get it, which she needs it really bad. And it's pretty time sensitive because right now she has inflammation on her knee and when she has inflammation on her knee, her growth plates grow faster on that leg and she already has a 1.5 centimeter discrepancy that was like six months ago it could be worse now because she's had swelling again so i'm actually really nervous to go to the orthopedic specialist in a couple months because i'm afraid he's going to be like oh it's worse so that's why we're having to be so aggressive with this is because the longer her leg gets and the bigger the discrepancy gets the more painful and longer the procedures get for her once she gets older, if it continues on that path. So, here we go. Why would you Nacho, you cheated. So no. we're Baby, did Nacho just cheat? He erased it, right? <laughs> so I, I, we're guessing the world's tallest tree, and I told Nacho he could ride it in meters. And Evie's like every other American. We think that this is the only form of measurement. So I, I said he could switch it after we. So then yeah, Evie did. witnesses him erasing after everyone exposed their numbers. He erased he it and wrote oh, he the in feet because we translated it. And she's so just, just like, Mom, Nacho's cheating. I saw him erase it. Okay. Okay. And then Nacho says to her, Yes, I'm cheating. Okay, stop <laughs> ringing. Oh. He's teasing you, Evie. Mama. Okay, any more bets? Mama. Dad. 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 Okay, any more bets? Oh, and Frank likes stacking these and then he likes Daddy. knocking them off. No, how about us? Evie. Unboxing. No, you can't change it. It's 106. Dad. 
Evie, shh. Not Aubrey, not I'm trying to block. Cut it. How about us remembering to put Frankie's jammies on backwards before he actually has a poop party in his crib? Okay, more bets? It took six kids to figure that out. When they turn two, just turn the jammies around. It's in this range. I think that it's above 300 feet. The tallest tree in the whole that's world? That's 10 stories of a building, 10 stories. Okay, that's probably too high. That's a lot. Who's Wait. 121. It's about 10 feet per Me, story Alan. on a building. I think Zade's gonna win. I know. What'd you guess, Zade? Daddy, now there's four in the princess pile. Okay, have guess. you seen the redwoods? They're massive. Okay, we're gonna see. You gotta be the closest without going over. <laughs> okay. Oh. And the answer is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> What? 379 feet. Yes! I told you. Who is that? Baby? Me. Nice. Uh, uh, what? No, Dad, I, I went over to fit five to one. Yeah. So the one wins from the wedding. She's the one, yeah. So she's $5,000. You hear the bells? You see the Christmas lights over there? Let's see, just wait. Is Santa coming? He's too loud. It's true. You're Santa, Nino? Right? That's wow. Funny. Daisy oh, betrayed game. me. Kids, play another game. Who needs the bad one? Who, who won? Look at her. Who won? Ender won out of nowhere. He had a hundred tokens left. He had a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I only had my like like the and he lost. So and he lost. But Daisy feels like she won because she betrayed me. Okay. No, no, just you. Everyone else who bet on me. I mean, she look. acted way confident than she did. But I why is that my number, token on is her? It doesn't like, matter. Not even a number. Yeah, it is a number. It's like an infinity number. You betrayed you me, Daisy. Like she that. is so proud of herself. <laughs> that is so funny. If oh, Daisy would like that. that.